Hello? Hello. Hello? Yes. Hold on just a moment, please. Okay, thank you. Well, we're back, boys. Hello, this is Steve. Hi, I'm a representative for Matt Jarbo. Okay. And he's going to be uh, coming into your uh, event tonight. He wants to know if he can get a possible speaking engagement arranged. No, he can't. I'm sorry. We've already had the programming schedule established for the last month. So at this point, unfortunately, we really can't arrange for any last-minute events. Well, he's going to be uh, a high-profile guest. There's going to be some press involved as well. So we'll draw attention. It might be in your best interest to kind of maybe just schedule an impromptu type of talk type of thing. There's going to be press involved that you said. Yeah. Uh, you realize that in that case, we're going to need you to reach out to info at furfest.org because if the press is going to attempt to be here, they have to get clearance. If they don't, then they're not welcome on site. What's well, this him and his staff with uh, 14 Buck Theater? Pardon me? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Is his staff over at $14 Theater? I, I'm not familiar with that. Okay. Well, we're dealing with Monday and Matt here, so he's kind of a high profile uh, guest. I understand that. Um, unfortunately, as I had said before, we cannot arrange that. You know, there are, we had hundreds of submissions for programming events at our convention. Uh, even as of multiple months ago, we've already sifted through all of them and we established a schedule. At this point, it would really be unfair to any other attendee here who's wished to have anything, especially in our major programming spaces, to provide someone who is showing up without previous engagement or previous announcement. Now, if he's interested in having a presence at our convention here next year, we would gladly have him. He would just need to submit something uh, when we open up for programming submissions in the future. Well, he's already en route and the crew is en route as well. They have a couple uh, trucks they're going to be offloading a couple boulders and uh, he's going to be arriving and he's going to have someone delivering his uh, dry cleaned suit hmm, and I is his, uh, you might have heard of his persona can you, it's can you uh, for just a second please thank uh, you okay what do you guys do you guys think uh, he's on on to us here what do you guys think Hmm. Why would it be Monday? Hi. Um, I just had to get some clarification on something. Okay. So, as I said before, any media presence here has to be approved with the convention at the hotel previously. So, unfortunately, since they are unannounced, if they haven't made the proper arrangements, uh, they are due to subject from removal at the hotel. From removal? So, that would be inconsiderate. I mean, what if he just has a GoPro strapped to his fursona suit? What's what it's called? Uh, costume, yes. No, I understand yeah. that. He uh, is uh, again, going as Polly the Polar Bear. Trucks coming here, correct? Yeah, there's going to be two of them, offloading a couple boulders. Uh, offloading boulders. Yeah, again, as we said before, uh, you know, these are things that have to be cleared with our event well beforehand, and we have not had any indication or contact regarding this. Okay, well, he's already so, an attendee. He's already purchased a ticket, sir. Uh, and he can come here as a as any other attendee, just like anyone else who's coming to this convention. But we're going to be offloading his boulders to do his uh, Polly the Polar Bear, I'm seeing here, a uh, uh, sequence of events he's doing tonight. Well, that has not been approved anywhere on our schedule nor on programming. Well, so he was... Unfortunately, again... I'm just giving you a heads up because he was a little bit concerned about the controversial nature of his character. It says here he's doing a polar bear costume, possibly some racial uh, elements might be involved. Nope, sorry, we have nothing of that nature on the schedule. Well, he is doing that at your event, well, sir. Well, he, if he does that, uh, please understand that if you attempt to set up cranes and boulders and things like that, uh, it is likely that the hotel will be, it is subject to removal from the from the premises. We won't be able to get to him because he'll be surrounded by the boulders. That's why I'm trying to clear this with you. So you'll be, he can just set up outside and we can just do, uh, he has his own staff with $14 uh, theater. Uh, and I understand that. Again, I will reiterate that anything that he's wishing to have formally with any space here uh, and scheduled would have had to have been arranged multiple months ago. Well, he, he purchased his ticket long ago, so you should have been aware right. once you saw his name on the roster. This is Matt uh, Jarbo we have, here. Uh, please understand, we have um, approximately 10,000 attendees coming to this convention. We um, are entirely unfamiliar with him, so... It would be hard for us to recognize whether or not he was an attendee or not. And again, if people wish to have programming events or events of that nature here, they have to schedule that and uh, arrange it with uh, our programming department. But we're talking about Matt Jarbo here, okay? So yes, no, I understand that. And we have other guests here who also have some form of notoriety or fame. Yeah. And uh, again, they would have to go through the same process as anyone else who's attending this convention. And you're familiar? That is out of the nature of fairness. Are you familiar with Matt Jarbo? No, I'm not. He's pretty uh, high-profile YouTuber. Hmm. We have other YouTubers here, too. Well, Matt, Matt Jarbo is one of the top ones. Well. I'm sure you've heard of him, sir. 
just in that same nature, if Matt Jarbo wishes to have any programming presence here, he should submit things just like anyone else. He's going to be making a couple different entrances, uh, part of his, uh, his video. So he's going to do something at the north entrance as well as the south entrance. Okay, well, that, thank you for informing that, for informing us of that. Yeah, but you don't know which one he's going to be at at which time, so you want to get some staff there just to help with the boulder moving. Okay, he's not going to have his son with him. It usually helps no, him. No, we, we won't be providing any assistance. Sorry, we are not in a position to do that. We don't have a contract with him in any capacity. But it's an accessibility so issue as well. For that. It's an accessibility issue as well, sir. Uh, sir, we understand accessibility issues, and in that case, providing attempting to uh, bring our volunteers into that capacity does not apply in that capacity. Now, if you would wish to speak to our legal team at any capacity, we can have you contact them. But right now, at this point, I need to get going because I need to take care of other responsibilities I have for the convention. Our crew is already on the way. Cover? Pardon our, me? Our crew is already en route to you, sir. Um, that's, again, we would need to be informed ahead of time if a crew is coming here. And so again, they would be subject to removal from the hotel. Why is, is it going to be removed? He's, a, he's a paying customer for your event. Why would you do that, sir? There's a promotion for your event. This adjunct promotion for it. Sir, is there anything else that we can cover for you? I need to get going. Well, yes, a couple of things. He needs a specialized uh, washing for his uh, suit because there's going to be paint involved. No, nope, you can come. He can arrange that for himself. What's the facility that you have on site for for we, any sort of washing? We are at a hotel. If he wishes to wash his suit, he can take it to a laundromat just like anyone else. Can you hang it up outside sir, or something like sir, that? Sir, I have to get going here. Excuse me? I, I don't appreciate... Have, excuse I hope me. you have a wonderful day. Sir, Goodbye. I don't appreciate this. We're trying to get things set up for Mr. Jarbo. Okay.